Welcome to Becoming Virtuosa, the podcast with Dr. Susan Crockett. You are listening to episode number 23, Coaching Women Over 50, what it's really like during and after a coaching session. This is an interview with fellow certified life coach, Sally Hansen. This episode is dedicated to me. <laughs> Sally insisted, and I said no, and then she said Yes, I want to dedicate this to you. You're over 50 and you're doing so much for coaching and you should just say thank you and do it. So, <laughs> all right, Sally, here you go. <laughs> Welcome to Becoming Virtuosa, where women learn to love their lives. Do you find yourself frustrated by society's expectations? Looking for practical advice on how to discover your talents and level up your life? You found the right place. Here's your host. U.S. News top doctor, robotic surgeon, and certified life coach, Dr. Susan Crockett. Hello, my virtuosas and my virtuosas in training. I am your host, Dr. Susan Crockett, and you can call me Sue because we're doing interviews and I'm not being a doctor here today. We may talk about some medical stuff, but we are here to let you listen in on a conversation that I'm having with one of my wonderful coaches today. Yesterday, I was out on the lake I have six kids. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that before. <laughs> and my only daughter is the oldest one. So my daughter is 22. I think she's 22. She and two of her girlfriends came out on the boat with me yesterday. We had a girl's day on the lake and it was fabulous. It was so much fun. We did tubing and we did wake surfing, which none of the girls had done before. And it was so cool. We had just a great time. I so appreciate my girls. So it's another beautiful day here in Texas. Today, I am going to, oh, I'm so excited about this interview. You guys are really going to enjoy this. So today we're doing a, an interview with Sally Hansen. She's one of my favorites. She's just awesome. See, she is a very interesting person. We are going to be talking about just the practicality of what it is to be coached, what a session is like, and what happens after you have a coaching session. And then we're specifically going to talk about coaching women over 50 and the change in life, not just from menopause and medical perspective, but all of the things, all of the things that are happening through this transition and how coaching applies to that transformation and how it can make it so amazing. So Sally is a certified life coach from the Life Coach School, just like I am, but she's also certified by Jack Canfield, the chicken soup guy. She is a certified trainer in human potential, and she puts that together with her coaching. And she also has a long history of wellness experience and instruction, including yoga, meditation. She can help you with breath work. She's done emotional freedom work with people before. So she brings to the table a nice breadth of experience to coach. Aside from that, she owns her own marketing company, and she's done some of the marketing for us with Virtuosa Coaching. Uh, some of you, especially if you're my patients, you've probably received one of these beautiful postcards that we sent out earlier in the year just talking about coaching. Well, Sally's company is the one that produced those beautiful postcards for us, so she is just awesome. So I hope you enjoy today's show. Here's Sally. All right. Hey, Sally, how are you doing today? Hey, Sue, I'm doing great. Thanks. Thanks for having me here. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us. I know you have a lot of really great content to share with our listeners, especially our listeners who are over 50 or approaching some of those midlife issues. And this is going to be an awesome podcast. So let's start by you telling us just a little bit about your story. How did you come to life coaching? How did you get to this specific niche? And yeah, tell us about you. Sure. Well, thank you so much for having me on, Sue. It's, Aww, it's just thanks. my honor to be here. So I was 30 years in corporate America in sales and marketing. And then, you know, when I turned 50, mm -hmm. there were so many changes that were happening to me all at once. So I was going through menopause yeah. and maybe some of your listeners can relate. I was going through menopause, which is a hard time in itself. 
I lost my job. Goodness. And my husband wanted a divorce. Like, oh my gosh. All in the same month, the job loss and my husband wanting a divorce. And on top of that, my kids were leaving for college. So you got like everything at once. Yeah, everything at once. And those were just the big things, right? Wow. And, <laughs> and then I just really hit rock bottom at that time. I just thought, how am I ever going to get out of this situation? How am I ever going to start dating again? How am I ever going to find another job? You know, I just didn't really know what to do. And so I really hit rock bottom until, you know, and I got into a lot of bad habits like, you know, overeating, over drinking, just anything, anything that I could do to, to numb the pain. To feel better, to try to, you know, feel better. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Anyway, finally, I got to the point where enough was enough and I couldn't continue on like this. So I just picked myself up. I hired a coach. Wait, how did you find out about coaching? How did you find a coach? How did you know what that was? I had heard about it. Mm -hmm. And I had been to therapy, but I'd heard about this life coaching thing that was taking you from where you are to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. I was intrigued. And you weren't really like depressed where you thought you had a medical condition and needed medication or psychiatrist. You just wanted help. Yeah, I wanted someone to support me. And I wanted someone to kind of take me by the hand and say, you know, <laughs> you can do this. Yep. You can do this. We've got you here. And, and that's what hiring a coach did for me. So I hired a coach. And then I got into, you know, the life coach school. And also other kind of self help areas, you know, I was, I'm big into Jack Canfield's success principles. And so, you know, I took one thing at a time and let's just fast forward 10 years later. Here I am. I'm now 60. Okay. <laughs> Which is so hard to believe if we look at your picture, like my listeners really need to go look at your profile on the first choice of coaching. Like when you first told me you were 60, I'm like shocked. You look so young. Uh -oh. You know, I, I never would have guessed that you were older than me. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. But anyway, I've been remarried now for five years to a wonderful man. I started a business and now I have a successful uh, marketing business. Awesome. My kids are doing great. In the last five years, we have traveled and I'm not trying to brag. I'm just telling I want your listeners to know that these kind of things are possible. I've traveled all over the world. I went to, in the last five wow. years, we've been to India. We've been on wow. safari in Africa. Goodness. We've been to China. Uh, we've been to Peru. And, you know, just, just to name a few. And I also became a certified life coach through the life coach school. And as well, I became a certified Jack Canfield trainer. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, I mean, just imagine where I came from 10 years ago and where I am today. And that really is all due to coaching, managing my mind, setting goals, achieving those goals. And your listeners can do it too. What a message of hope that is, right? Because so often we get stuck in being stuck and just having the example of women like us being able to make the changes intentionally in their lives and have that hope that if she did it, I could do it. I mean, that's such a great example. Thanks for sharing your story. That's really cool. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So today we're going to talk about coaching and what it is. Why don't you talk a little bit about why you chose this topic? Well, it's just so close to my heart because here I was a wreck, you know, 10 years ago and I was able to overcome all of those challenges. And I want to share that. I want to share that with other women and give them hope and give them support and encouragement and show them that it's possible because I know where they've been. Yep, you sure do. Why don't we start by you telling us a little bit about what a coaching session is like? Because I know when I talk to my patients, for instance, about life coaching, there's a lot of misunderstanding about it or, you know, not understanding what it's like. A lot of 
fear uh, about engaging in life coaching. And, and so how about if you just start and take us through what a session is like and what life coaching is in the style and education that you and I have had together? Sure, absolutely. So I'm thinking back to my first coaching session, and I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> I didn't know what I didn't know what to expect. So a coaching session is going to be is going to be on video. Okay. So uh-huh. through your computer or your phone, or it could be just through the phone. Okay. And I think my right. first coaching session, I think I wanted it through the phone because I was a little nervous about what it was going to be. So, and I, I didn't know this person, you know, I just knew she was a professional coach. So the first thing is developing trust, right? So I'm developing trust and there's also a place of non-judgment. So I'm not there, you know, as far as me being a coach, I'm not there to judge. I'm not there to tell you what to do. It's almost like... Imagine we're, imagine we're sitting on a sofa together and we're in a movie theater <laughs> and we're looking at your thoughts on the movie screen, okay? And we're the, we're the directors, okay? Together we're the directors and we say, you know what? Let's cut that part out. That part's not working. That part's not serving you. And, but let's keep that. This part's great. And this scene, we're going to change this scene. Hmm. So imagine that. So it's almost like giving you, the client, the power to create and change your life and go and take you from where you are now to where you want to be. So you can imagine that like visualizing making a movie of your life, you know, say where you want to be in the next five years. So that's kind of what it's like. It's very comfortable and it's, you know, there's a lot of trust there and then there's a lot of non-judgment and we're trained as coaches to hold space, which... Oh, holding space. Tell me about that. What does that mean? Yeah, holding space is really just allowing the client to be who they are without any judgment at all. Right, and that was so eye-opening to me when I first got into coaching. Like I, you know, we come from, or I come from a world where everything is diagnostic, right? So the medical world, I'm constantly making evaluations and not necessarily judging like bad or good, but it's so critical thinking type work. And for me, switching into the mindset of coaching, it's a very deliberate thing when I switch into coaching mode. But that was one of the most comforting things about it when I started working with coaching was that I could be safe to say anything. Like there is truly no judgment. It's a place that's safe for you just to talk and get it all out. And then the way we learn coaching, we don't tell people what to do either. So it's just a that unique setting of somebody being able to show you your brain and kind of go in well, is that working for you? <laughs> is that what you want? And the, like you said, like the director thing, I love the metaphor of sitting on the couch watching the movie. That's really powerful. Exactly. And, and I also want these women to know that they have the power. They have 100% responsibility on where they are now, but where they're going to go. And I want them to set their goals, to take action, and to manage their minds along the way. And we can really do that together. And it's quite amazing. Awesome. So let's talk a little bit specifically about coaching women over 50. This is a topic really close to my heart, not only because I am in that group, but also in my GYN practice. You know, I have a large population of women that are dealing with, oh my gosh, all these specific topics for women over 50. So tell us a little bit about what those topics are and how you take care of women in in this in this stage of life? Sure, sure. So, you know, when women turn 50, it's, it's a difficult transition. It can be. It can be. You know, there's <laughs> all the, the changes, the physical changes going through menopause and right. hot flashes and maybe sexual issues. But then there's, there's other things like impending retirement. Right. And 
aging parents. Yeah. <laughs> and empty nest syndrome. Yeah. And like trying to find I purpose. Know, I don't know if that's a syndrome, but yeah, trying to find trying to find purpose in life. So it's a whole different set of challenges than maybe a younger woman who's in her 30s or having children. Yeah. So I want these clients to know I understand them. I get them. I've been through it. I know where they are and I can really help them. So this is what I'm passionate about. So the thing I love about this is, you know, you mentioned the physical thing. So in my medical office practice, we're dealing with the physical issues, right? The hormones and the hormone replacement and all of that. But so often, like almost universally, these women also are dealing with changes that they need help with their brains and their brain management just like we're talking about here. And that's, this is one of the primary reasons that I decided to add coaching to my practice and why things like this podcast are so important is because a lot of times I see women who think, oh, if I just take some estrogen, it'll all be fine. But it's not all due to hormones. I mean, a lot of it is all of these specific life stressors and life changes. And this is where there's a huge benefit for coaching. I I see it. It really, for the women that are open to doing that and working on their brains and the transformation in a good way, they move through this kind of like you have. We see this as a time of hope and rebirth almost into the newer version of themselves. And it doesn't have to be like a tragic time. (laughs) It's just like the end of life, right? (laughs) No, that's exactly right. And, you know, you really named it, you know, it's important to have a medical professional and then you know, maybe a therapist, maybe, maybe uh, a dietitian on your team, maybe, you know, somebody that helps you with exercise or an exercise class, and then a life coach. So it's all part, we're all part of that wellness team that can help women be the best version of themselves. That's so awesome. So tell us a little bit about what it's like. We talked about what it's like in a session, like what a a session actually feels like, that it's a place of safeness and non-judgment and where we're just really looking at our brains and our thoughts and, and redesigning what we want those types of things to be. Tell us what it's like after a session. Like what can women expect to happen after having a, like a 45 minute coaching session with somebody like you? Yeah, sure. Sure. So there's a lot of kind of aha moments Yeah, or there can be some breakthrough moments that really can make a change in someone's life. And they, they coach themselves and they take that information and work through it during the week or in between sessions. And it it really, yeah, so a lot of the coaching will happen, not during it, of course, during the session, but a lot of it happens after the session, when they're out and about in their daily lives, using some of these techniques. Yep. So it's not just a come and do a therapy session for an hour, and then I'll see you next week. It's not like just a one one hour a week, it's you're empowering them with tools that they can use continuously through the week to work on where they want to go. Absolutely. You know, I just got an email from someone that I coached about six months ago, and she sent me a thank you that things were so much better with her daughter now. From our coaching session, she said, remember when I broke down and cried? And she said, I just want to thank you so much for, for bringing for just letting me see that. And uh, she's changed her life because of it. So, So you know, a lot of, yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about how our listeners can find you. Of course, you're one of our wonderful coaches at virtuosacoaching.com. But if they want to work with you in different ways or want to find you on social media, tell us how we can find you. Sure, sure. Of course, I am with Virtuosa Coaching. And I will remind our listeners that, Sue, on your website right now, I don't know if your listeners know this or not, but you have a limited time special right now, $20 for 20 minutes of coaching. Yeah, we do. And that's for all of the coaches. Right. We have like 30 coaches, something like that, and all these different topics. And so it's a really easy way to try out coaching with minimal risk. It's it's really a fun way to do it. Like who wouldn't want to do that? (laughs) Yeah. So I I hope everyone will give it a try, but they can also find me on my website, which is sallyhansoncoaching.com. 
And then I'm also on Facebook. Okay, so we'll make sure we put that in the show notes. And then uh, let's wrap this up. What would you what would you want to leave our listeners with as a as your final thought? Sure. So what I want to leave the listeners with is I want to empower women. Yes. And I want them to know that whatever's happening in their lives right now, they can move past it. Yes, absolutely. We can take them from where they are to where they want to go. And we can help them get there. We can help them set goals, take action, and manage their minds to get there. So if you're out there, women listening, just don't give up hope. And everything is there for you. And we're here to help you. That is awesome. Well, Sally Hanson, thank you so much. This was such a fun, meaningful topic for our listeners. And have a great weekend. And we'll talk to you later, okay? Thanks. You too, Sue. (laughs) Okay, bye. So what I've shown you today... First of all, I hope that we've helped to demystify coaching a little bit, kind of show what a session is like, how relaxing and truly rewarding and fun it can be, what coaching is, what it isn't, and kind of show you what a session is like, what you can expect, and then also what you can expect from your brain and your mind afterwards as you learn to process the new tools and move forward in your transformative process. We spoke specifically about what coaching for women after 50 looks like and the special circumstances that this particular type of work in managing our thoughts and our brains can do to help transition through that time period. I hope that you've seen that today's talk is designed to help give you hope and not not a sense of despair, but a feeling of hope and excitement about the years ahead. I hope you feel like you have the power to transform your life. You should have learned a little bit about the fact that you're the director of your own life and your own script, and a coach is somebody who helps manage your brain to help you build that life that you truly deserve and want so much to live. So coaching can help you get there. Now, We come to the part of the show where we talk about what we're listening to and reading. I let Sally pick all of these this week. It was really fun. Sometimes my coaches let me choose. Sometimes they come with stuff. So she is listening to a really beautiful song called Now We Are Free by Hans Zimmer and Lisa Gerard. It's actually the theme song from Gladiator. Y'all remember that movie, Russell Crowe, 2000? Yeah, Gladiator. So Now We Are Free, beautiful, calming, meditative music. She's reading a book by Ilchi Lee. It's called I've Decided to Live 120 Years. I love this idea. So a couple years ago, I decided that that's my target for how long I want to live. And I haven't reached the halfway mark yet, which kind of gives me a lighter perspective on where I am right now. I feel like I'm still very productive and looking at sustainability long term in what I'm doing medically and as a coach and teacher. I hope you get some inspiration from this book. And then, of course, what we're watching, (laughs) Gladiator. Uh, Who doesn't love some Russell Crowe? And this is a great classic movie. It's one you can watch together with your men. (laughs) Sometimes we as women don't always choose things that our men appreciate. But Gladiator is definitely one for the ages for both genders. So... That's all I've got for this week. Next week, we are talking with Wendy Crabb about why you need a coach to lose weight. There are lots of ways to lose weight. There's a million ways to lose weight, but having a life coach can make all the difference in the world. In fact, it probably is the most important thing, the mind management around weight loss. So we're looking forward to talking with Wendy next week. Please tune in. Okay, my virtuosos, have a wonderful week. Love always, Sue. And I will see you next week in episode 24. Thanks for listening to this episode of Becoming Virtuosa. If you want to find out more, come check out virtuosacoaching.com. That's virtuosa with an A, coaching.com. See you next week.